Okay, today let's talk about ebooks. So the library has a lot of ebooks, thousands and thousands of ebooks. People usually think about articles when they're doing their research, but ebooks can be a wonderful place to start your research. So this our, our searching system here, our discovery system, will search out ebooks, but I'm going to go directly to the source. So let's go here, ebook databases. And uh, I'll show you in this video my favorite ebook database. I'll cover some other ebook databases in other videos, but the largest one we have, and my favorite, is the EBSCO ebook collection. So when this opens up, it's like other EBSCO products, it works very similar. This probably looks sort of familiar to you, uh, but it's only going to search for ebooks. And these are ebooks that we have full access to. So it's not just looking up citations, the actual full ebooks will be here. And there's thousands of them. So I'll just do a basic search here. Let's say we're looking for research on nursing homes. So I'll type in nursing home. I'll put a little asterisk there at the end just to make sure we get nursing home or nursing homes. Then I'll type in or in quotation marks, long-term care. And I'll do another just to cover all my bases or long dash term care. I'm putting those in quotation marks because I want those exact phrases. If you want more uh, details on this type of searching, look up some of my videos on advanced searching. But I want those exact phrases, and it might be in there as nursing home, and it might be nursing homes, so I put a little asterisk at the end. Or it might be there as long-term care, or it might be long-term care. So let's search here. And again, it's just going to search for books on this topic. Okay, so I found 38 books on this topic, and again, these are all full books. So let's open up one of these books and take a look at it. So spinning its wheels, here we go. It's opened up now. It tells you about the book here. There's a little description of it. Here's the authors. And uh, then what we could do with this book, if you want to look at the actual book, there's a few, few ways you could do this. My favorite way to do it is to go to the table of contents. So I go to the table of contents, and then once this opens up, I'm going to kind of scroll through the table of contents and look and see what would be interesting in here for me. I'm not going to try to just open the whole thing up and read it through uh, page for page. Uh, I'll open up this section right here. And there's this little disclaimer at the top. I'll just close that. And then here is the table of contents on the left, and then here's this section of the book right here. Okay. Uh, now, the, the best way to work with these as far as links, it, with EBSCO, these links up here expire. So if, if you did want to favorite this or something, anytime you're going to do something like that, look for the permalink. So you can favorite it. Let's say I'm going to click here. I'll pull this down and say this is going to be, I'm going to put it right there, that favorite. But the link that it saved to the favorite will expire. So that will be pretty frustrating for you. And I am pulling a link just to this section of the book. You could do it for the whole book too if you want. Uh, I'll click the permalink here. This will be a more accurate link. I'll copy that. Then on my favorite, I will edit my favorite and I would put, uh, I would put the link in here. I'll double click that link that it pulled and I'll put this permalink. That will be a more accurate link. Okay, let's go back to the book here, back to the detailed record for the book. Some other things you could do with this, you could also open it up to the PDF full text, and it's very similar to what I just opened up. And then we could go to the different sections of the book. So it's, it's pretty similar opening it up there. And then would open up directly to that section. Let's go back to the book again. And again, you have full access to everything in this book, all the pages of this book. Now, it gets tricky when you go to full download, because when you go to full download, it will give you this message. Uh, let's see here. I'm asking for a full download. I'm going with the PDF full download. It's probably going to come back with a message saying that I have to be logged in to do this. And if it does, I'll, I'll, t I'll show you how to log in for that. It's having trouble with this. Oh, here we go. No, actually with this one, some of them, it will ask you to log in. Okay. So I'll show you that with a different example. We'll find a different example. This one, the full thing opened up right here. I'm not a big fan of downloading the full book. You can do this, but the problem is I'm going to have to scroll through it page by page over here. This is really hard, unless you just want to read the whole thing cover to cover. 
I like to use that table of contents and I let the I like to let the database manage it for me. So what I would do with this personally, I would put it in my folder. And then I would let the database that I'm going to my folder here. I went kind of quickly on that. Let me go back and show you what I did there. I would add it to the folder right here. I clicked add to folder. I can remove it from my folder too. I can add it to the folder right here. And then here's the folder. Now the problem is this will disappear as soon as the session is over. So what I would recommend here is go to sign in. Once you get to sign in, you can create your own personalized folders. There's my setup for my personalized folders. If you don't have this, you just click sign up right here. Don't have an account, sign up. And you can create a free folder that will allow you to come back to this book whenever you want within this database. So there's some kind of different options to, to save this book. Let's go back to our list again. Let's go back result list here. Let me open up this book here. Dimensions of Long-Term Care Management and Introduction. Looks like a good book. Again, we've got the table of contents we can scroll through. Okay. And we could go to the PDF full text right here. It's kind of spinning its wheels, but it's loading the cover. The cover has some visuals on it, so sometimes that takes a little bit longer. But it is loading there. I'm going to go back here. There it goes. I'm going to go back here. Now, if we do the full download on this one, okay, there we go. This happens a lot with these ebooks. A lot of them are set up to where you can only download them if you're signed into your folder. So you could sign in and create the account right there. I will go ahead and sign into my account. And this is a free account. It's a free account you have within this. It's not your, uh, your school logon or anything. You just create your own login. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. And it's verifying I am who I say I am. And then when I go to the full download now, now it's letting me do that. Now, each publisher has their own rules for this. So for this book, uh, they're only going to, when you download this, they're only going to let you have this downloaded for four weeks. After four weeks, it's going to disappear and you'll have to download it again. So that's fine. Again, I'm not a fan of downloading this. I would add it to my folder. Then whenever I go to, I'm going to add it right there and see it's, I have so many things in my folder. It's asking me which folder because I have numerous folders within my folders. And then when I go to my folder, I have all these other things here, but there we go. Dimensions of long-term care management and introduction. And then I'll close this here and let me go back to the ebook databases. Let's say I'm going to go here a different day. I'm going to go into EBSCO ebooks. First thing I'm going to do is sign in. And it's going to bring up the sign up page. I have my sign in information memorized, or my computer has it memorized. It's saved it there. And then once I, once I log in and then I go to my folder, It's going to be right there. And as you can see here, I have all these other subfolders within this folder. You can create as many folders as you want. I could put this into another folder there if I would like. Or then I did have the, the, uh, the method of saving it as a favorite. Just remember, if you're going to save it as a favorite, what you'll have to do, let's open this book up here. If I want to save this as a favorite, and this is how I save as favorites, I highlight the highlight the URL and then I bring it down here. What I will have to do with this is replace this because this URL will expire. I'll look for the permalink. I'm going to copy that permalink. And then in here on this favorite, I'm going to edit that. And I will go to the URL, delete that URL, and I'll put that URL in there. And then that, that should work to bring that up again. So that's a little complicated, but that is how you use EBSCO eBooks. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.